AJ, can you talk about what it's like to get your first experience playing and you know, especially against the number one team in the country? Um, I say it was, it was an awesome experience and one I've been looking forward to for a long time. I mean, you couldn't write a script any better for a true freshman that everybody thought runs his mouth before to come out and play the number one team in the country and play a decent game. Why are you able to immediately succeed as a college quarterback? Um, I want to say that there's one key thing. I mean, it's been built up over time, just just working and visualizing this goal and then being able to go out there and do it. I mean, there is no one thing that has led me to be successful. Hey, Dave, if you don't mind, just the, the chemistry that you and Steve had, there obviously it showed here today. Uh, how long has that been in the works, and uh, how did it work for you today, obviously? Um, most of the time we go up against each other versus the uh, first team defense on scout team. I mean, then we built it, and it was just, you really put that ball in within a two to three feet radius of that man, he's going to catch it, no matter if it's one-handed, two-handed, you can catch it with his eyes closed. I mean, he's just a great receiver, and I'm, I'm blessed to be able to throw the ball to him. What did it mean to have uh, Lester give you the freedom to, to take some shots downfield, you know, particularly early? Oh, um, I mean, it meant a lot because, I mean, we got the defense to fall back a little bit to realize that we can go deep on people. So it opened up our run game and allowed us to be able to run and pass the ball fairly efficiently today. Right there. Right, I'm sorry, Steve, go ahead. AJ, uh, I'm sure you heard it all week. You know, there was no Terrell Hunt, and, you know, inexperienced quarterbacks, new offensive coordinator, Florida State coming to town. A lot of people expected this to, to be ugly. And, you know, you guys put up 20 points, over 400 yards. What did you guys learn about yourselves today, you know, as a team and as an offense? Um, I wouldn't say it's anything that we've learned because it's stuff that we've known. I mean, we know that we're a good team on the verge of being a great team as far as our offense goes. The defense has always been phenomenal. So um, basically this week is just getting comfortable with each other and realizing that we can play with anybody in the country when we come to the game and we have nothing to lose. Every week, it could be your last game ever. So really just coming out, playing as hard as you can, as long as you can, and repeatedly doing that week in and week out. AJ, obviously playing so well today, and now you have an opportunity going forward. You know, obviously trials out for a while, and you made quite an impression today. Uh, speak to your opportunity going forward, what, how you plan to make the most of it. Um, I mean, I'm just going to continue to work on the things I need to work on to make sure that I can be the best that I can be and help this team win games in the future. I mean, when Terrell does get healthy, I'm so, so God that hopefully we're, we're in a position where we're going to a bowl game. I mean, that's, that's really all I can say on that. Travis? Uh, you mentioned that you guys kind of came out and played loose. Was there anything different about this week? What was different about this week coming out and, and how you guys came out and played? Um, I wouldn't say there's anything different about this week. I mean, we played loose because everybody just realized that, I mean, this team's never going to be together again. So everybody is, is doing the most that they can do for their brother next to them to make sure that they have the best season possible because, I mean, at the end of the day, this is, these are the only moments that you're ever really going to have with these guys on the football field. What do you think the impact was of Florida State not having much film on your performance? Um, I mean, Florida State's a great team. I mean, they're going to they're gonna have film on whoever they're going to have it on. I mean, a lot of those guys, like Jalen Ramsey, played 15 minutes for me. So, I mean, me and him, I had gone to his games. I'm pretty sure he had been to ours because we won the state championship. So, I mean, it wasn't like they had never seen, like, us before, me play before. I mean, they, they're a great team, and they're going to find ways to figure out who they're playing against no matter what. Jacob. Hey, AJ. Uh, did you see linebackers kind of being frozen up when y'all ran around the outside with your ability to scramble? Um, I want to say so far it's frozen up. I mean, they, they protected the edge very well. I mean, they're a very sound football team, and they're going to do what they need to do. They did the same thing that they did to Deshaun Watson, and they just made sure they had guys on the edge to make sure to contain him and keep him in the pocket so he couldn't extend plays with his legs. Hesitate or think at all? Um, not really. I wasn't really focused on them. Just making sure our receivers got open and getting in the ball. You quick taking two through two plays. Uh, one was the first pick you threw, where it looked like you were maybe throwing it, trying to throw it away, and the second when you were keeping your eyes downfield, you found Ishmael down the sideline with two guys. Um, on the interception, really, it was just I saw pressure at the middle, and I made a rookie mistake of going away from where my receivers were, and then when I tried to throw the ball away, I just didn't get enough on it. But as far as the play goes to Steve, I mean, it was just, it was almost a similar deal. Got pressure up the middle, this time rolled away to where Steve was, saw him get downfield and just put the ball on top of him so he can make a play. Last question right there. Hey, uh, if you, you know, you said a lot of people might think that you coming in, a loud man freshman, like you said, but what are you trying to prove to these guys and the fans and the media 
you know, about the future of Syracuse football going ahead is, you know, like you said, you're just a freshman. Um, really, it's just trying to prove to them that everything that we said, our class has said, from me to Zaire, Colton, all of them, is that Syracuse football, we're back and we're about to go, we're going to an ACC championship in the next four years. I mean, our team is going to be very good, including the class that Cole and Eric White have put together this past year. I mean, these kids coming in, they're better than our class last year. So we are, we're very blessed and we're ready, we're ready to take the next step as a football program.